What we did was an endoscopic colloid cyst removal. Um, in my opinion, the endoscopic application, this is the second best application in neurosurgery compared with uh, doing an endoscopic third ventriculostomy for hydrocephalus. Really, the, the colloid cyst lends itself wonderfully to endoscopic removal owing to the cystic nature of it. Uh, the fact that it's deep-seated in the central portion of the brain in the third ventricle makes other traditional access routes uh, somewhat more cumbersome and difficult and more risky. So the endoscope has truly uh, changed the playing field and the threshold for doing operations in these patients. And in a patient like this gentleman today, who's without symptoms and is incidentally diagnosed, uh, normally, and certainly 15 years ago, we, I would have recommended discontinued follow-up with surveillance MRI scans. Uh, now, over the past 18 years, we've had a large enough experience in ind incidental colloid cysts to know that the surgical outcome can, can be excellent. Uh, we've seen no morbidity and taken out incidental cysts thus far on an elective basis. Well, we've been doing this for 17 years here at Wild Cornell. Probably very close to my 100th colloid cyst I've taken out with an endoscope. It's probably the largest series in the world for one individual. We probably operate on about 10, 12 a year. It's a rare, rare form of brain tumor, probably the rarest. It's not malignant, so it has a good outcome if you do it right. And that patients go home and have their whole life ahead of them.